We're going to get this started. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. He is worthy. Amen. Can you guys hear it down there? I see a hand. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit later as soon as I turn it over to my brother to sing the song. We're going to sing the Chris Tomlin version. If you guys know it already, if you don't, just sing along. All righty. And God's word says in uh, Matthew chapter 28. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to draw toward the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment was white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that you seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come and see the place where the Lord laid, and go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead, and that, behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, for I have told you. And they departed from the sepulcher and feared in great joy, and did run to bring his disciples the word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for Jesus. In this day that has changed the world forever, thousands of years ago, you were sacrificed and you rose on the third day. Thank you for sending Jesus. And thank you for this great nation and all the people that have been holding on and going through these times together despite our differences. And we pray, pray a blessing over this neighborhood and the entire country and the entire world that this will be the biggest harvest of souls that there has ever been on planet Earth. For what the devil meant for evil, you meant for good. And you turn everything around. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, brother. Woo! Now I'm going to turn it over to my brother and we're just going to sing that Chris Tomlin song. But I wanted to share a quick story with you. You want to talk about resurrection? You want to talk about amazing grace? There's a car sitting right there. That silver car, you can see it. It a, a, used to be a Daddy Jim's car. I had a prayer request about seven or eight years ago to pray for Daddy Jim. He was in the hospital on life support and not expected to live through the day. So a friend of ours, Marla, her, his daughter, said, go pray for Daddy Jim, anything you can do. Go pray for him. So we went to the hospital, me and my friend, Pastor Donald, and we laid hands on him. And we said, in the name of Jesus, wake up. Come back to life. Whatever they said, that's cool. We understand. But Jesus, you are the one that resurrects the dead. And we prayed for Daddy Jim and left, believing in faith that he would come back. And he walked out of the hospital two days later. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> now, that's not it. Daddy Jim was a Marine and an atheist. So for seven or eight years, Daddy Jim did not receive the Lord. And about three, four weeks ago, I got a phone call that Daddy Jim was in hospice and can you please come over? Me and my wife went over on a birthday, brought some flowers. And on his deathbed, on hospice, he was laying there, angry, all doped up on drugs. And we went, said, can we pray for him? No, Daddy Jim's not in the mood. He's dying. <laughs> he doesn't want nothing to do with Jesus. So we just prayed out in front of the house. Lord, save him. We started driving away. How many of you guys here got a dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got dogs. Well, she had a poodle, and that poodle ran out the front door after we left. We forgot to close the gate. And guess who said, oh, shoot. I got to go put the dog in in case Marla, you know, forgot. So I go to put the dog in. So in the name of Jesus, go through the gate. The dog goes in the gate. Now close it. Marla comes out and said, Daddy Jim heard your voice, and he wants Jesus today. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I grabbed the Bible off the, 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 the front. I got a, a car Bible that's in the car. Just grabbed it said, Diana, pray. Uh, Goma, pray. We ran in there. I said, Jim, you want Jesus? He said, yep. I said, you know that he rose from the dead on the third day? He said, yep. I said, all you got to do, Scripture says it, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. I said, do you believe? He said, yes. I said, say Jesus. Jesus. I said, bam. He received the Lord right there. And three days later, he passed away. Talk about amazing grace. Go ahead, brother. That is. That is amazing. Because we're only here for a short time. It's a Happy Easter. God bless you guys. Who would have thunk all those years ago? You guys must have been praying. It's Chris Tomlin and Brett. But...
Happy Easter, guys. God bless Thank you, you for doing Lord. Good.